Welcome to Bitfumes and in the last episode we have seen how we can get the input from the user and if we are not sure about the argument we can make it optional and then we will check and if it's not there we can simply ask for it. But now it's the time to create directory on the current working place and then we need to create a file inside that directory and that file contains name and email. So first thing first, let's just create the constructor here. So I'm going to create a constructor. So construct and this construct will get file system. And this file system has to be the illuminate file system file system. There are lots of file system, but make sure it has to be illuminate file system file system. This is just going to help us in creating the files and nothing else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another protected variable which is called files and I'm just going to initialize files with file and don't forget to call parent constructor construct and this is done. So now what I'm going to do again similar to these things I'm going to create a function which is called uh, create file is that good I think good <laughs> okay so let's create another protected function if you want you can create a, a public one that depends upon what you are going to create okay so firstly I'm going to get the current working directory so for that I'm just going to say get current working directory this is just a, a php function to get the current working directory so if i hit enter yeah you can see we are on this uh, directory okay so this is good but uh, here i'm just going to firstly check that uh, if there is a directory or not so i'm going to say uh, dollar files which we are getting from file system so dollar files and that has to be dollar this arrow files and is directory and i'm going to get the path so let's call here path is equal to current working directory and then concatenate with directory name called profile so let's check if this is uh, direct if there is a directory called profile or not so let's hit enter and yeah it says false this means directory is not there and we know directory is not there okay so how we can create the directory so we need to firstly check so I will say if this directory is not there so if not of uh, directory if directory is not available then i'm going to create it so this arrow files and then make directory i think this is the uh, function so let's try this and if it is good yeah no error that means if i go into desktop list out the content Hmm, it's not on there. Okay, it's it's inside QNA, I think, because the current working directory is QNA. So list out the content, and yeah, you can see we have this profile on, and also here we have this profile. So we have successfully created the directory. So if directory is not there, we are going to create. So again, if I run that command, so like uh, this. Yeah, it's not going to create another profile or not giving any kind of error so if directory is not there we are going to create it and after creating the directory we are going to create a file so if uh, so we are going to create a file file called uh, let's say details profile then details so uh, make uh, file no I, i'm not sure what's the api for file system so what if I go here or why not go through the documentation of, of file system so I will say Laravel file system or uh, instead of a Laravel it's a illuminate file system and yeah it's a file system simple and now I can see it says <laughs> yeah put so put is the function we are going to use so let's go back here and here I'm going to say 
put and put accept three things the path so first thing is the path and then uh, content and the content so actually in this path we need to add the file file name actually so dot and let's say detail dot txt and the content is the name and email so i will say content is equal to uh, let's say uh, it's uh, this arrow name so I'm just going to get the name and nothing else so content is there so let's try to run and yeah file is created but okay so the problem is we need to give a slash here okay so now run it and inside profile yeah we have this and just have the word written profile there why is that the content name so okay so we have just commented that so why not uncomment these two and this time i will try to sarthak sarthak at bitfumes.com okay so details are there so sarthak is written here so exactly what we need but we we don't want exact this thing we want the uh, email also and maybe if we can create it's a php file so let's create a php file and php file is going to contain an array so this will be like i'm going to create an array so i will create exactly php tag then i'm going to return and returning an array and closing this line so simple i will say here name is equal to this thing like this and how we can make this okay so why not use double quotes here single quote here and now i can move this inside curly braces so it will going to work similarly similar to the name i need email okay so let's see how it's going to work so again if i provide the details sarthak then sarthak at bitfumes.com hit enter yeah it says details.php and yeah we can see we have these things but that has to be inside single quotes like this yeah so once more so what i'm going to do because i need to write every time i'm going to give inline everything yeah and if i go yeah this is absolutely fine working absolutely fine so in this way you can write any file just from your console just from your command line so this is the way you can do all these things and in the next episode what we are going to do we are actually going to uh, make your app in a production mode and we will see how we can actually do just from the terminal so what we will say we will say q and a and it has to work from the next episode so if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and share with your friends and you can like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram you can follow me on twitter i'm totally active there nowadays <laughs> so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye